Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're back in Minecraft Vault Hunters. I do quickly want to mention I am still currently ill. I have some sort of cough or something, so if I sound a bit weird or there are random cuts, that is why. So the first thing I want to mention, I did stream a week ago on this server, or a week ago as of when this video goes live, I think. I was ill in that live stream, but the live stream is on my channel if you do want to check it out. We run about three vaults with some other members. And we completed two and died in one. So let me quickly just roll me opening the crates. So now we have done that. The loot we got is within this chest, or the gear. I did also get these from CWG, which is some um, pretty good boots and also a pretty good helmet. That helmet we might use. It's, okay, it's not better armor-wise, but we could get an extra armor as a prefix. And then them boots. Uh, them boots are also better, I believe, just because the health. The armor is the same. We do lose the movement speed, but I don't think that's a big deal. We then did also get some stuff within these chests, but it's all been mixed up with some other random junk, so uh, it's not really anything that was too good. We'll roll all the vault gear later on in the video because I want to do a few other things beforehand. And then inside of this chest is the final few things we got. Some more vault gear that I need to identify, but we got our first artifact from a completion crate. Now, another thing I do want to do within this video, we did reach level 40 within that live stream. And I want to catch up with quests because we can now get to this part here where God altars and all that come into play. And the first thing we need to do is make the artifact tome and the skill altar. But I don't want to do that just yet. I've been busy off camera. While I've been ill, I've just been sitting here building the start of our main base. And this is what it looks like. Now, this is only one building. There's going to be multiple buildings that scattered across this island. This is going to be our storage room where we have all of our storage, all of our items and armor. And it's the same on all sides. We've got some windows with some flower bots, then some glowing lights to give the outside light glow of a nighttime. And then the building is made up of some thread plates, then vault stone bricks. And also some diorite shutters. The inside is just wooden slabs. And then I've also started to move some things over. The disk drive and the grid we got from mod boxes. I did also craft up a load of 4k. I think we got one and then three 1k's. And I just grouped them up into a 4k. And then crafted a few others. So we have 28k. And we are just missing power. And then we also have all of our drawers. The drawers are connected by trim blocks that are disguised as a vault stone. With then the drawer completion right here. So all we have to do is click on this. And it will go within all these. And all I need to do now is bring everything over here. But that's not something I'm going to do just yet. Because that is going to be very tedious and annoying. So let's first of all before we catch up with quests. Talk about how I'm going to get the power. Because power is a mod that we need to unlock. And for power, we have quite a few different things we could go. We could go iron generators, which unlocks generators to do the power or the energy. Uh, we also have power, which is five. And this makes it so you can create things like solar panels. And then we'd also have flux, which I think is a bit more advanced. I have no clue how flux works, so we're not going to do that. But I want to go for the power anyway, just because solar panels, I think, is a really good source of power. So this is what we're going to go for. It is currently five and we have enough to obtain it, I think. So I'm going to break up 40 Beniotite to see how much we get from this. And this has fortune on it. I don't think this should matter that it has smelting. I don't think it does because smelting isn't something that is affected. And there we go. So that gives us two stacks and 53, which should be enough for what we need. So we need five for the flux. That should be four. Yep, that's four. It bugged and showed five for a split second, but that's probably where I clicked a bit too quick. And then that is now five. Can we craft five up into, I think we should be able to, we can craft seven. 
So that is five, and that leaves us with two. How many do we need for the next mod, which we are going to go for mob spawners? That is three. So we only need another eight of these. And I don't know how much knowledge we have. I'll know when I sort it all out and move all of our stuff into the one storage. Let's first of all roll the relics. And we got two relics from them. Ten. Where is our relic chest? It's downstairs. I keep forgetting that it's not up here. We have that one. But we already own that one. And we have our first cupcake inside of the cupcake set. Which is good. So let's throw that in there also. Let's now claim the five knowledge. And let's unlock... Let's first of all see how expensive the solar panel is, just because I don't want to go for it if it's like really expensive. As then if it is like super expensive, we could just go like iron generators. So it's one chromatic iron and then some driftwood, some carbon, silk, iron, larimar. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be like too bad. I guess it's just tedious to craft, I guess, because it's like 10 different recipes all within one. Although you I think you can get these for mod boxes. So maybe our goal is to go mod box hunting as that might be the better thing to do. Does it add? Yes, it adds rewards to mod boxes. So there we go. We have got that, which is something that is good. And now let's see what we are going to do with the artifact. Let's see how is the artifact tome crafted. The artifact tome is not too expensive. I guess the black chromatic is kind of expensive, but the other things are not too bad. I guess it's just the fact of do we have like a lectern sitting around or do we have enough resources to craft a lectern? We have the books and we also have the wood. So I think we do. We do also have an expertise point that I need to spend. I know what exactly where that's going. And that's going to go into Divine. To make it so we become closer to the Vault Gods. Although do I want to go to Divine? Because inside of Update 13. This whole system is a lot easier. As you can then put like Vault Charms onto your crystal. To give it a guaranteed like affinity. So maybe I don't want to go that. And maybe I should reserve my expertise for something else. Although you do get a like reset at level 50. Or you get a possible reset. This is also good in update 13. Because the bartering is a lot more common. As they are now vendor rooms rather than the like Omega room. But I think we're going to go Divine. Hopefully we should reach level 45 and then we can go one in that to get 25% discount. It's not the skill altar we are crafting. It is the Artifact Tome. We need one more book just because you need one for it as well. And now we have that. We just need some slabs. Let's make them. There we go. Uh, that is not it just yet. And there we go. We can now craft that. Now where do I want to put this? I think I want to put it in my main base just because the look of it will be a lot better over there. Now the question is where do I want to pull it because there's no center to this base. I'm going to have storage drawers all there and then also all there. There is where I had my uh, refined storage and then I decided to move it so it's all together. As then I think I can use the refined storage to access these by using like pipes or something. So let's maybe just place this, I will build a different hut for this eventually I think, but let's place it there for now. Uh, let's place it one back just so it's flush with the wall and then let's open the artifact. Do we get another artifact for completing this quest? I believe you do, you do. So there we go, we now have two. Are they going to be two different? Uh, okay, that was a desync. Now let's do the first one. And it's stress with the ghast. Uh, that's not in the correct place. Let's place it. Uh, I guess let's just place blocks behind there for now. And let's place it there. And the second one is the portal. Which I believe is that one. So there we go. We have two of the 25. We do also have one mod box that I just found. Let's roll this. Fingers crossed. We could get extremely lucky and get a solar panel from this. I'm hoping we do. And what is that? That's a grid. That's not bad, I don't think, because that saves us a pog. I think it, at least it saves us a pog. So we have 11 black opal over here. So let's head back up to see if I break this down how much we get. I'm hoping for about half a stack. That would be the best result. Although I don't know if we'll get it. 
Do we have any levels in the fortunate? We have two in that. Okay, so that is pretty good. And how much do we get? We got 35. So over what I wanted, uh, so that is good. And we do have a glass pane, which is good. And we do also have a poppy. So all we need now is the two essence. And I'm hoping I don't have to go back to our main base location. I'm hoping that we should have some essence in one of these. Maybe this one. Uh, we do. That is perfect. So let's grab them. And let's now head down here. So what we need to do is just craft this up into red wool. And we need to do that. Perfect. There we go. And that is the skill altar. Now for this to count, we have to interact with it. So let's just place it there for now. That gets us some of the regret orbs. Ten of them. So next is the Transmorg, and that was pretty cheap to craft. I guess the expensive part is probably the enchantment table, and that's just because we don't have, like, many vanilla. Ah, oh, we have an enchantment table right there. Uh, you're enchanting. Okay, it's named, but I don't think that matters. I think we now also have everything we need for the Transmorg table, which is... Nope, we are missing some more of them essence, but that should be pretty easy to grab. If I just open up that, let's just grab all 44 of them, although we only need one. And I don't think we need any more for the future quests. So there we go, that is that done. Do we need to just obtain that? No, nope, we need to interact with it. Uh, let's place this upstairs as well. We can move it at a later date. Yep, we just plonked it right there. And what is the quest, or what is the reward for this? Uh, 64 bronze, okay. So now is catalysts, and this is why I wanted to catch up with quests. The reason I wanted to catch up with quests is so we can make a load of wooden stacks on a crystal to try and get a load of mod boxes. So then we can unlock things through mod boxes like the solar panel. So let's see, how many is 81 in times 9? That is 9. Okay, I could have, should have done that maths. That is pretty easy maths. So let's throw them nine in there. Now we need to craft up, I think it's called uh, essence of some kind. Uh, let's just see. I know it's this thing right here. Mystical essence. It requires a uh, beniotite, vault diamonds, and then essence. I have a load of dreamstones. Dreamstones ain't a problem. But anyway, let's craft that up. That's 16 of them. We only need nine of these. Let's not all. Oh, we need 10, I believe, because we get one for free. So let's not waste Beniotite. We don't need to waste. And that is now 10 of them. If I throw that into there, it now crafts up these. That's gilded. We want wooden ones if we can. Plentiful. Uh, that is wealthy. That's a good one because it don't have a negative. Plentiful again. Uh, living. That's a good one because it don't have a negative. Ornate. That's also good. Come on. We haven't got a... We've, well, that's a wooden with a negative. That is wealthy with a negative. And finally, plentiful. So we got one wooden. And I don't think we have any of these like pre-crafted. So I don't think you can find them anywhere. And there we go. The crystal is now completed. Where is our anvil? I'm pretty sure it's around here. Yep, it's under that chest. So let's throw that onto there. And then let's also throw that onto there. That's two wooden and two negative. And that has also completed the quest. So let's claim that. That gives us one more of them. And we can now throw that into there as well. Come on, a wooden. I don't think... No, ornate. Okay, so two wooden. Uh, that's more wooden chests. I should also make like a tool with a load of item rarity. Because I think mod boxes are like a rare item. So item rarity should affect them. The next quest is... Uh, the next quest is bugged apparently. And it's not letting me progress anymore. That's weird. Why is that? It's not like lighting up so I can click on it. That's fine because I didn't want to do the seals because I hate them. They are so annoying to work with, especially the uh, architect vaults. I like putting catalysts on crystals, but I hate doing these types of vaults. So again, I guess that might be, maybe a relog might fix it, but I'm not going to try that just yet. I've just thought maybe we shouldn't cut them all down. We should only cut the lowest ones with the highest. Because I've thrown the ones I've already cut in. And that's already down to 63. Uh, so yeah, maybe we shouldn't do it how I'm doing it. Uh, we should be a bit more sparing. So that's 15. That's 33. I'm definitely not using that one then. Because that's way too high. Uh, 15 we can cut down. 
that's now the lowest it can be that one we can also cut down that is 11 so it's 1 18 i could try that's 11 so the highest one i have is this one 1.9 have i cut this one at all i haven't so let's see we want it down to 18 it's 19 should i try it once just to see and it broke okay well that's good anyway because we couldn't have really done anything with that so what is the next highest one we have that's 1.5 1.4 that's 1.3 and uh, that's 1.3 1.4 again see i think 1.4 is the highest we have that's 1.5 but that's way too high in size so uh, these two are the same so let's try and cut these two i guess we need it down to at least 18 that's 19 again and this one 19 17 so there we go we can throw this one on and if we do that one that is 1% with then how much? 21% item rarity. I wouldn't say that's bad, 21%, especially for like level 40. As late game, we can definitely make that a lot better. Uh, let's now, I guess, jump into a vault. We have the crystal and we have everything we need. All I need to do now is just throw all these random jewels away. So now within the vault, we have two spiders, soul charms, four rip pages and three skeleton wishbones. And then bounty wise, gather elixir is not something we can do. And vault apples, we should be able to do. We need also add the catalyst. So we have two wooden and then we'd also have two minus 20% mana regen or minus 10%, which adds up to minus 20%. So mana is not something we can really use much of, but that's totally fine as I don't plan to use Hunter unless we use like abilities like Storm Arrow, but we'll just maybe stay away from tank mobs and stuff like that. So home is east. Let's now kill these. Don't forget, we are mainly focusing on the wooden. So our new pickaxe breaking these, they break the wooden chests kind of slow. But that's not a big deal. Not having this magnet is definitely going to cause some problems for us. Just because it's a lot harder to like pick things up. And we have to run like right up to them. Let's get rid of you because you're a bow. And then let's also get rid of you because you're annoying. Now there's a secret somewhere through the wall here. Is it right there? Yep, it's here. Let's block that off so they can't get through. And then let's kill them. That is a lot of wooden chests. This is going to be pretty satisfying to mine because I think they're all connected together. So if I break that, they were mostly connected together. There are some that weren't. I'm going to quickly just go and place a block there just so nothing can get in here and kill us while we are looting all this. But yeah, if we don't complete it, we get the curtain there. Let's do it. Uh, Volt ores, 21. That's not unique. No, it's not. So it's just 21 Volt ores. I guess we should be able to do that because we need to get Volt ores for the uh, scav anyway. There is an ore BOI right here. It's not an ore room, but I guess it's better than nothing. That's how many? That's nine. And then with all of them done, that's 11. Let's just grab this. Is a mob going to fall down here? No, I don't think so. Let's do that. And then there is also one more. That's, but we've only got two minutes left. So the next room is going to have to have ores in it. Or I think we have failed this. We have 19, uh, 13 seconds. And I don't think we are going to do it. As I haven't found a single ore room or POI apart from that one. And is this an ore room? No, I don't think it is. So there we go. We got fading. I think fading is the worst one you can get. Taking down just remote removes your hearts. So what I need to do now is I need to find home because I kind of got lost in the way we was going. Home is east, but I think I started to go north at some point. Uh, so I now need to like try and figure out where that was and find my way back to the portal room. I'm now just like trying to run back to see if we've been in any of these rooms. Because if we've been here, then it will kind of like resemble that like I know where I am. And no, this room I haven't been in because I would have looted the downstairs. I would have at least like looted something. And no chests have been looted. So let's now go one more south because I guess that's the only way we can go. Okay, there's Vault Bedrock right there. Now, does that mean that we are near the portal? Or does that mean we have come to the end of the vault? If I head this way... 
Well, is there Vault Bedrock on this side as well? There, oh, that's close to full damage. There isn't. Okay, I think I know where we are now then. And this is our portal room. So let's head out. This weren't that good of a vault, I would say. But I think that's because it's my first vault in quite a while. I think since like last week. 10,000 XP, not too bad. We did get to level 41, which ain't bad either. So let's see with the loot. We got zero mod boxes. Are you kidding me? We got 80 knowledge. So that means we can unlock the next mod. I think let's do that as maybe that might be where we call it for this video in the next video we will then work on doing the whole storage and then also setting up spawners there we go we can now make three of them and we have 24 which is exactly three perfect and then from there if we claim all of them we now want to unlock the mob spawners and then there we go so in the next video we will set up all that hopefully we have the resources we need for it so let's identify it all oh we got tome of knowledge which is omega i think that's just a tome but it might be good because what i want to also set up in a future video does require a tome or a wand so let's have a look Three axes, completely pointless. Let's maybe head over here to our smelter so we can smelt the rubbish gear. So the axes I don't like using and I think they're pretty rubbish anyway. The boots are not as good as our current pair or the pair that we have over in the chest. Oh, them boots. Nah, I don't even think they're better as epic. Uh, chest piece is not better than the current one we have. That one might be though. So we'll keep that one there for now. That one is not better. Oh, that one might be. Uh, nine and four. Six and four and four health. It does lose the health, but I guess we'll keep that. Vault helmet, nine. We lose out on a lot more armor, so I don't think that one's worth it. That one is also not worth it. Uh, neither is that one. And neither is that one. Although it does have a prefix we could get. Now, as for the focuses, oh, that is plus one to heal. That is a, like a really good uh, focus, I think. So we're going to take that out. That's plus one to heal. So we currently have heal set to, uh, what is our current heal? Five. So that will make it go up to 0. 0.6, which will give us seven and 22. As for the other tomes, not really anything too good. That chest piece is not bad. Uh, that chest piece is rubbish. That helmet is rubbish. So is that one. Uh, them leggings are way better than our current pair. We'll take them. Uh, that is also rubbish. Magnet. Uh, I'll take a magnet because I don't think we have many of them. Now swords are something that are always good. Our current one is 16 and 7. This one is 14 with chaining. I like chaining so we'll keep that sword. This next sword is 13 with chilling cloud. I'm not going to smell that yet because I heard a rumor that when you smell legendary uh, like prefixes and suffixes in a future update, you'll get a focus or something that will make it so you can guarantee a legendary on a different item. So I'm going to keep that to smell down in the future. Then we've done that. That sword, uh, we could keep that one. 11, 16... Uh, they're not that one could be good because it's got undead and never although it is way worse than our current one and then these ones are nothing too good that one's not bad i want to roll it to see what the like empty prefixes and suffixes are so anything that is missing something like that i would have much rather have an attack damage on that but that illager damage is kind of good we could have that for dungeons this one don't have anything missing and neither does that neither does that that doesn't that does what is that uh i was hoping for health this chest piece which is better than our current one i believe has knockback resistance that is probably the worst thing we could have got uh that is done that has an empty suffix and that is a really good focus trap disarm that's not bad and then this final one has two empty suffixes and this is the one that's Actually, no, the armor's kind of rubbish on this. Although, let's roll the suffixes, healing efficiency, and more trap this arm. Now, I don't think we got anything here apart from these leggings that are better than what we currently have. 
So I think we'll maybe change out for the leggings, but everything else I think is just like an alternative if we die and can't revive or something. And then the final thing we're going to do in this video is let's spend our skill points. We have 10 to spend. We're going to go in another level of speed, and that's 4, just because speed is always good to have. Now the next thing, intelligence, that's ability power. Uh, we could go that, but I don't think that's something I want to go in just yet. Let's go here. Because I was looking at like more skills. Currently we are relying on Storm Arrow way too much. And that's not good really to get us out of situations where there are a load of mobs around us. That's good to deal with like dungeons, champions and tanks. I think Nova is what I want to go into. Just because I've been messing around with this in like another world. And I like it. It sets like a damage ball around you in a radius. Kind of like Storm Arrow, but not as OP. It's around the player and it's only once as you do it. So this might be what we do. But we can then go Frost Nova or Poison Nova. Poison Nova does like a poison potion. And Frost Nova does it so it like freezes them. Which I think the Poison Nova is what I want to go for. So let's spend... That's out of eight. Let's maybe spend four in this. That does it so cooldowns 20 seconds, 26 mana, 4.5. That's not bad. So we have two more points to spend after doing Nova. Let's quickly also do Poison Nova. And with our last two points, I think, what is this? Gives extra healing efficiency while below 20% mana. Or gives extra damage while below. Uh, I think maybe let's do the final two into like Illager damage. Just because that would be good when in dungeons and things like that. I should have probably done spiders in that. Because uh, we could unlearn it. But I don't think that's a priority right now. As spiders are definitely a lot harder to deal with. So maybe off the camera I will unlearn that. But anyway. That is where I'm going to end this video. If you did enjoy do leave a like and subscribe. In the next video we have quite a lot to do. We've got a storage system set up. Although I might set it up off camera. Because I've got to move all this off camera. I just need to get some mod boxes, I guess, to try and get a solar panel. Although I could craft it, it's not that expensive. And then we're also going to set up the mob spawners, which I can't wait to do. So anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!